welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be recreating one of my old looks. And this is very embarrassing because a girl did not know how to blend. I'm like, damn. This is what the look looks like. This was done on July 30th, 2016, okay? This was when I was first starting out really getting into makeup. So this is what the look looks like. See, look at that non-blending eyeshadow. Yes, we are going to fix that today. Sorry if my eyes are like watery and I sound really stuffy. It's really, really bright outside right now. And I'm a little bit sick, so um, y'all just gonna have to excuse the teary eyes, okay? Before we get into today's video, my first post notification goes to Beauty by Cassandra. Thank you so much, Cassandra, for having your post notifications turned on and for just showing so much love on my channel. I always see you, you're like the first one to comment on my videos, so thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Now let's get into today's video. For this look, I'm going to be using two palettes. So one is the 35B Morphe Brushes palette. The second palette is the 35OM palette. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here with this brush that I got from the Wish app. And I don't even know if I should even tell you guys anymore because I've been using the same brushes for all my tutorials. <laughs> I'm going to work that into my crease, up to my brow bone. Oh, I'm so stuffy. Like, I'm so, like, I don't know if it's just because of like the cold or if it's because I'm allergic to my friend's cat. <laughs> but... Yeah, I just feel really stuffy right now, and I just need to drink some tea. I bought some tea recently from Tivana, and it's so freaking good. I don't even remember the flavor. It's some, like, fruity tea. I don't know. I really love fruity teas. I'm not a huge coffee person. I don't really drink coffee, and I don't really like regular tea, if that makes sense. I like the sweet teas. No, with a lot of sugar in it. So first I applied like a really light layer of that brown all the way up to my brow. Now I'm just taking some more brown and focusing that in my crease so we can get a little bit of depth in here. Let me tell you, when I first created this look, I, I had this idea in my head. I like dreamt about it. Do you guys ever do that? You just dream about a makeup look and you're like, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And then it just doesn't turn out how you want it to. I thought the look was great. But now looking back at it a year and a half later, I'm like, oh girl, you didn't learn how to blend. Don't get me wrong, I'm still like learning how to blend, you know, blending is a process. But I feel like I am a lot better than I was a year and a half ago. And I did not know how to do cut creases, and I am still learning how to do cut creases. I feel like I'm decent at them, but I like, that's one of my goals for this year is I want to get really good at cut creases. Using that same palette, I'm dipping into this brown shade with this flat blending brush by morphe brushes and i'm working that in the same area just a little bit below the first brown that i applied i'm gonna take my first blending brush and blend these two together so there are no harsh lines let me know if you want me to zoom in more when i'm doing my tutorial um, because i don't know if this is too far for you guys now it's time to cut the crease and to do that i'm using my mac studio finish concealer in the number nc30 and to do that i'm using this little flat brush from morphe brushes so i feel like um when i watch cut crease tutorials a lot of people will pull their eye up to make it a little bit easier so if that works for you you can go ahead and do that i don't like to do that just because i don't want to stretch out my skin because i feel like i already have a lot of skin on my lid which causes my hooded lids I don't know how I do it, I just press it really hard so that it's catching all the skin. Does that make sense? I don't know. After I got the shape, I'm just filling this in. And as you can see, I didn't go all the way out. So I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. And I want to do one eye at a time because I don't want this side to crease while I'm doing this side. So I'm going to set this with this yellow shade from my 35B palette. And to do that, I'm using this circular flat brush. And I'm going to tap on the product because I don't want to move any of that concealer. So if you can see the difference, um, a higher crease makes my eyes appear a little bit wider and open. So that's why I really like cut creases. So I need to perfect this shit. When I do this, I kind of follow my original crease. If you 
tap into your eyes take a brush and then just poke it into your eyeballs wherever my eye socket is um, so I'm like pushing in this is my original crease and you just want to make sure if you have a double lid that that concealer is showing through when you open your eyes and look straight because a lot of that product can get lost under all that skin so you see how when I go like this um, it looks way up here but when I open my eyes it goes a lot lower so you just want to make sure to do this while your eyes are open and I've said this plenty of times in a lot of my cut crease tutorials I'm also going to take that same yellow and apply that to the first half of my bottom lash line. For the outer V of my eye and also the second half of my bottom lash line, I'm going to be applying this orange from my 35B palette. And I'm going to be using this brush right here. And this is from Morphe Brushes. I'm going to focus most of that color on the outer V and then blend it in with the yellow. I'm going to dip into this brown again and apply that just to the very outer third of my bottom lash line. I'm going to dip into that brown again and just define my crease a little bit with this little detailed brush. Blend that out a little bit, I'm switching back to this little tapered brush. Now I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sweets palette and dip into Marshmallow with another flat brush. And I'm going to spray my brush a little bit first with some setting spray. I'm going to highlight my inner corners and also my brow bone. Look at the difference. This one is just like, bam. People always ask about how I get my highlights so popping and all you got to do is wet your brush a little bit with some water or setting spray and then dip into your powder and it just comes out bright as shit. Now it's time for the liner and to do that I'm using two different eyeliners. The first one is this black liquid liner from Sephora and I'm just going to be creating a half wing with that. The second liner is this white one from NYX and I'm using that just to highlight the outside of the black liner. You know I don't really fuck with eyeliners so if I'm out of frame for this I'm sorry but I have to be really close to the mirror. <laughs> I am such a failure when it comes to eyeliner. I hate doing eyeliner. Like, look at that. See how this one goes out like this and this one goes like more up? I can never get them even, but this is as best as it's going to get. Okay, now for the white eyeliner. In the picture, I do have some red glitter on the crease, or what I tried to do was a cut crease, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to be using this glitter primer from NYX. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. I'm using this eyeliner brush from Morphe Brushes. I'm just following that same cut crease line. I'm going to fade that glitter primer about halfway, and then with whatever glue is remaining on my brush, I'm going to dip into this glitter pot, and this glitter I got from the Wish app. So when I'm applying the glitter primer, I'm going on that line, but more on the brown side. Now it's time to coat the lashes and I'm using two different mascaras. I know, because I'm extra like that. But um, I'm using my new Tartiest. In my other video I said Tastiest and uh, yeah, I caught that while I was editing. So I was like, oh, I shouldn't put that in there because that's embarrassing. I'm using this one for my top lashes. And for my bottom lashes, I'm using my Ultimate All-in-One Mascara because the one on this mascara is so tiny and it makes it really easy for me to grab those bottom lashes. I'm using these lashes right here, and I believe I got these either from Bold Face Makeup or could possibly be from the Wish app. I'm not sure. Um, this was just in my stack of reusable lashes, so yeah. 
Alright, now I'm just going to add a little bit more highlighter to uh, my Cupid's bow. For the lipstick, I was wearing Limbo from ColourPop Cosmetics, but I am running out of this. So I think I'm just going to use this as a top layer and use K as the bottom layer. Okay, I think this completes the look. So guys, what do you think? Did I do a good job? This look is giving me a real zebra vibes because of the white and black liner. But I'm really digging it. Yes. I really like how this turned out. It's a lot better than a year and a half ago. Let me know what you think in the comments if you think I did a good job, if I succeeded in recreating this look. Um, and let me know if you want me to do more recreations of my old Instagram looks. I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you again for watching. Stay Kate, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!